I think I forgot to hit stop record last night when I left, so. Got about 10 hours of video on my hard drive now. What are you doing now? Are you working, dude? Where do you work at? I'm glad I found you. You seem like a good fit for the group. Active in chat. Keep, keep breaks moving. Help new guys. I like that. <laughs> Slow roll. I will, dude. Don't worry. We'll slow roll it. Would you like dramatic music? I'm trying to build out. I would love to build out my day breaks. I mean, I've been on this air every night for six years, leaving my family and my wife and kids to go do breaks. And uh, I'd like to get at least one more night at home. So if I can build out daytime... God, that would be awesome, but then I got to fill, fill nights with somebody. And I'm afraid that if I plug somebody else in at night, I'm afraid I'm going to lose a lot of people because, you know, I think people get used to me and how I do things, so it's tricky. I'm kind of stuck. Shiny Tom to 75. My boy Jalen. CJ Henderson. These are backwards. Zachary Moss, a running Ute. And you do got a shiny Joe. Maybe that's a sign. 299. Oh, your sales? I can tell. That's great. Love that. I've been in sales my whole life. In one form or another. My longest career before this, about 15 years ago, it all went to hell, but I was in the music business for 20 years. I know that sounds like I'm old, but I rode the wave of the music industry in radio and record promotion. I worked for Sony Music and Epic Records. And then that industry took a dump. I didn't want to be in it anyway because it's a lot of travel. You can't have a family in that business. You're either going to end up a drug addict, alcoholic, Divorced or in jail or all four. So I got out. Went into mortgage sales. Mortgages and finance and real estate. I love sales. I'm sure you've seen Glengarry Glenn Ross a few times. If you haven't seen Glengarry Glenn Ross, then I can't be your friend if you're a salesman. Oh, cool. Chris Carson. Cameron Akers. Anthony Gordon. Do you know how to do coding and programming and all that? I built... I didn't build it. The guy that I hired that I found built this great system for me to keep track of all my spots and orders. It's I couldn't do what I do without it. Come on, Denzel Mims. He's dope, though, isn't he? Cousin Baylor good. Number to 25. <laughs> there you go. Put that coffee down. Coffee is for closer. These are the Glengarry leads. And you don't get them. Why? Get me started on that movie, dude. I know that whole freaking thing. We got to build this up where we have like how do these guys have 300 people in chat sometimes? 350 people in chat. I mean, I know how they have it. They started six years before me. And they captured Google and they captured all the juice. Mark Andrews. Kyler. These are the Glengarry leads and you don't get them. Why? Because you are not a closer. That's my name. See this watch? This watch costs more than your car. <laughs> yeah.
Do you hear me, you son of a bitch? Jalen Rieger, number to 149. A-I-D-A. A. Action. I. Are you interested? I know you are, because it's fuck or walk. D. Have you made your decision for Christ? And A. Action. Take it. Oh, no, wait, what's the first A? Come on, you're getting closer. 199, Terrell Lewis. He's got to be dope. I'll get these in top loaders for you after this. <sighs> Have you made your decision for Christ? I could have been a salesman. You can't handle a sit. You are shit. Hit the bricks, pal, because you are going out. Green Grady. Damn it. Tough racket. A I D A. A always B B C closing. Always be closing. Everyone knows that. Pacino. It was just. That's got to be one of his greatest roles when he goes on his little tirades about shit. His little. Stories. And then Shelly Levine, the machine. I mean, what a cast that was. I'm going to have to watch it again tonight, damn it. Here we go. If there's not a Joe Burrow in here, there was not a Joe Burrow in that entire case. I'm trying to pull off the greatest breaker story ever. We got a Henry Ruggs. Could we have two Alabama dudes? I mean, LSU and two SEC. Oh, it's Colby freaking Parkinson. Henry Ruggs is to 195. Third place is you're fired. Third place is you're fired. What's up, Jackson? I'm going to give you one of these, dude. I use these. I get these. There's 16 of these in a box, man. So I sell half of them, and the rest I can use for uh, bonuses. I still make some money. Don't lose money. Get my money back. Customers like it. Here comes a red one. If this is a Joe Burrow. It's Davion Taylor. Hey, we did get a dope camo card of that dude. I'll get these shipped out. When I do um when I do daybreak personals, they go out same day usually because it's early, but if it was like four o'clock, it probably would miss. But it's twenty four hour shipping on um personal boxes. I'm gonna go build breaks. This was a special request. BBC closing. Always be. So I get to go down to the dealership today. I'm going out there around noon, 1230 or so. I'm going to go play some Glengarry Glen Ross at the dealership. When you when you buy stuff, six cents, by the way, don't you love when you go to like a car dealership or to a place where you're going to interact with another salesman? Because they're thinking that most of the customers kind of are clueless about how things work, don't know the process. But I love going to car dealerships because, <laughs> because I know exactly what they're doing. I, I love to see who's a good salesman and who's not. So I'm looking forward to that today. And most likely they'll win because I want the car. That's the thing. It's very difficult for me not to hide my true intent is that I really got to have that car. 
When he starts talking about, oh, somebody else is looking at it. They're coming in later today. It's like, oh, shit, you got me, the old create urgency. The, the, the feeling of loss that I might lose out on it. That's how people get me in sales. But sales in cars today, price-wise, you can you didn't used to be able to go look up like, oh, what would this car sell for? Like comps and reports. and That's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do a little bit of research on the vehicle. But it is primped out. It's totally blacked out, pimped out, dope rims, dope tires, bells, all the bells and whistles, which makes it harder to price. It's not just like a base model with like, uh, you know, one upgrade. It's pretty pimped out so lay downs all right guys i'm gonna get off the air i did this uh special for morgan i gotta go put up brakes on the website and then i gotta head out to the car dealership and wifey wants me to get the jeep cleaned out and detailed so that's my duties for the day I'll see you guys later tonight. I'm going to go put some breaks up. I'll see you then. Thanks. Crack a new case of the Prism College tonight. See ya.